and welcome back so today I have the Parker SR2 uh, very modestly priced um, these are easily found under $20 on the internet this is not a actual straight razor in the technical sense this is a replaceable blade similar to the Dovo Shavet uh, you saw me using the oil demonstration um, I do apologize the camera doesn't work really well in close-ups uh, this is manufactured in India and uh, it's uh, plastic scales uh, steel handle copper pins and the way this works you pull down this little tang here until this guard is clear uh, fingernails are recommended. Push the two blades apart and then fan it out. Once you've done that, you can then take half a broken double edge blade and I have to do this backwards. So if this looks awkward, it's because I'm trying to do this in a mirror for the camera and really can't see holding the blade like so and then slide up and that did not quite align properly so and don't do this I'm using a fingernail it's a really bad idea but there you go um, obviously if you're doing this um, flat and level like this it's a lot easier then just fold up the uh, lock bar and you're ready to shave. Now, it's twin sister or cousin, if you will, the Dovo. There are a couple of differences. Uh, the Dovo, this is an aluminum piece wrapped around a plastic carrier, and the plastic carrier maintains the blade. The problem with the Dovo that I had was. Um, the blade does not come all the way to the tip, as I would expect with a normal straight razor. Uh, but the advantage is, is that there is a guard right here on the tip, and you'll probably need to put up a, a close picture for that. The downside is that the blade ends here, and there's a natural expectation with a straight razor shaver, at least for me, that the blade extends past this point. And in fact, it doesn't. Now, you can get replacement cartridges for these different blades that do go further back so uh, this however uh, this little knob on the front does have an advantage over the Parker but it's a matter of experience it's not a matter of an absolute detriment to using this um, you pretty much what you see is what you get with this blade it is right there the other difference is edge on The Dovo is substantially thicker. That means that you cannot get as steep an angle. Now, there's an upside and a downside in this. The upside is that you cannot steepen the Dovo as much. Therefore, you cannot get as aggressive a cut. The Parker has no such restrictions, and you can get quite deep in. And uh, the guard, actually, on the Dovo's nose, and... Yeah, it's faded to the point. You can just see it there. Uh, I touched the nose of this as it was lining up a pass and nailed myself. So it's not optimal. But um, experience will override that small glitch. Um, now, today, and if you've been watching, I've been using a couple of different soaps and I usually talk about uh, today. It's the... Uh, Cyril Arner Seltzer Velveteer. Um, leisure guy decided that uh, I needed a little education and uh, Nancy Boy and a few other items and was kind enough to send me a few samples to review. So you guys get the uh, supplemental benefit of Leisure Guy's uh, kind-hearted uh, nature. So. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, I'm running the water. Sorry. I uh, hadn't really thought ahead and should have soaked my brush. Again, I'm using the Gold Fix uh, 406. And 
I'm using two cameras today and this may or may not come out. If it comes out, this is going to have a little inset or I'll swap so that you can see what I'm doing uh, below the camera. If not, I do apologize. This is a work in progress and I am not a movie studio, so... Um, let's see there. While that's going on, I should probably throw some pre-shave because I've been in the shower long enough and dry down a bit. So, a little bit of GOF Trumpers, skin food. Don't need a lot, about that much. I'm trying to just match, that was a bit too much. And also put down a couple of days' growth so that you guys can get a good look at how this works. You just massage that in, and unlike a lot of other stuff, you are going into the crane with this and you're trying to work up. Now, the nice thing about uh, the GOF Trumper Skin Food is that not only does it prep your skin nicely, uh, it does soften the beard slightly, but even so I find that once you're ready to start uh, shaving proper, you'll want to throw a little, bit of water, a little bit of water on it. Now, that's partially my problem is I'm in a very low humidity environment, and right behind me is a uh, heat register from a forced air system. So. Um, I dry out at a speed that's worthy of Viking Song, I'm sure. So, um, with the velvet here, it's the same as you saw with the other. I'm just shaking some water out. You want about that much. And here's where if the second camera is working, it's going to look great. If not, this is just going to be me talking. So. So just kind of work that into the center of the brush. Again, you don't want a ton of water. Oh, and by the way, if you have this and it's not coming up for you this way, um, I have a water softener and the water in this area is not super, super uh, hard anyway. Just dipping a bit more water there. Notice that it's almost too soupy, but if you keep working it, hmm. a bit more wrist action, if you notice the bubbles on the bottom of that are a little too large, but not bad. A little more wrist work. And there you go. It's forming a nice soft peak if you're into cooking. So, just gonna grab a little bit of water here at the sink, which nobody saw, neither camera was set up for that. My usual, just gently work it up into the direction of the grain of your beard. Uh, I know this camera sucks, but if you notice, the grain of my face, I tend to work down for the most part until you get here. Hopefully you can see that sweeps in that direction. And that's why you'll see when I'm brushing, when I'm shaving, most of my strokes are down except for this one. Uh, when you're applying uh, your foam cream, whatever, you want to scrub into the follicles, you're trying to work as much foam down to the barrel, to the bottom of the shaft as you can, until you're ready to start shaving. At which point, I like to anyway, um, or counter. I don't know if it really does or not, but I feel it laughs the beard a little bit. Okay, so without further ado, uh, we're using a feather blade. I've done a derby and I've used the feather in this guy, uh, alternating throughout the week, and it's it's a challenge with the feather. Even the derby, uh, the suffers and fools. Pay attention to what you're doing. If you've got one of these and you're trying it for the first time, skill will overcome um, your difficulties. I promise. Ah, I 
think I may have just caught that again. No, I cut a little further up. Look at that. Well, for those of you who have been waiting for it, there it is. So, dry it immediately. Hit it with some styptic, and hopefully I didn't tag that too deep. So, yeah, I got that one pretty good, actually. So, for you NASCAR fans, I'm waiting for the car wreck. There it is. Stubborn little bugger. I don't know what it is about that spot and this razor, but it just loves it. Well, while you're thinking, oh my god, that's horrible, that's terrible, ultimately in the final analysis, it's just a little nick. I'd rather I hadn't done that. But, really, no big deal. Now, something like my Nick is sealed apparently works a little better for anything this to Hmm. Man, that one is persistent. Oh, I'm not stopping, by the way. I will be soldiering through. So, you've got an opportunity to see more damage. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, carrying on. It doesn't help. Let me see if I can take a picture of what I have to. What I have to see as I'm doing this. Almost comical. And this two camera thing is really not working that great for me. <laughs> also thinking I may have tagged myself. Because that blade might be getting a little too dull. I might have went one too far on this. So, blades are cheap. My face isn't. The second camera is working as it should. Blade into the blade safe. Let's put a fresh blade in. Actually, you know what? That's a feather. If this does not come out. I'll uh, hmm. I got some feather blades around here. Interesting. Oh, there's the jerry base. So how I snap on these blades is like so. Fold out the wings. This way the paper gives you a little bit of protection. And there you go. Broke a blade. Stubborn. Yeah, I just got rid of the first one. Nah, not happy. It really does look worse than it is. I've had scratches that hurt more than that. I'm sure when I go back and review the tape, yeah, I'm just going to have to go right over. Yeah, the Parker... Hmm. I saw that foam is falling 
right way as I'm shaving. The reason for that is the sorry the uh, alum in the stiffic pencil breaks down the uh, foam very quickly. So. This is getting a little bit light as well, so well, this is one of the more challenging shaves that I've done for you guys. Let's try that again. And I'm not super happy with the quality of that lather either. to dry out even on the white side of my or the non hallowed side of my face. So I'll just add a little more foam to that. Okay, let's go again. And the smell uh, it's been described as earthy. It's definitely got a little bit of a Definitely a turned earth smell. I'd have, yeah, I'd have to agree with that assessment. Okay, fresh blade. And based on this, I'm only doing two passes today. I found personally. This performed much better with a Derby. You guys have heard us talk about it before, the different different blades perform differently for different people. Sometimes it's even different blades and different razors. This is a prime example. So My tremor is kicking up today too. That's really not helping me a ton. And there you go. So there's your experimentation. Um, this guy, not bad. Uh, more aggressive than the uh, Dobo, to be sure. The big, the big scary cut, and it's pretty much stopped bleeding, and that will be gone in a couple of days. It's a scratch. It's not. What everybody thinks a straight razor cut looks like. It's not this huge gaping wound. I'm not, you know, there's no arterial blood being shot across the room. It's a nick, and that's all that it ever is. Hell, I've seen, even on Wicked Edge, uh, one of our first timers posted a picture with a double edge cut that uh, looks worse than anything that I've ever seen done with a double or with a single. Uh, so, the Parker, like anything else, um, you will have to experiment and learn a little bit. Yeah, tag myself. Small neck, no problem. I find the, uh, the cuts on the neck seal a little faster. So, and yeah, I'm also 
I went a little bit uh, more aggressive with that than I probably should have as well. Yeah. Still learning process. It's not something I'm going to be putting in my regular rotation, but it's like anything else. If you if you have quality blades and you find the blade that works for you, uh, you will be able to work with it. And there we go. That is no longer bleeding. As a matter of fact, you can barely see that there's a cut there if I were to step back from the camera. You can always put it off as, you know, your girlfriend or your wife. Get a little extra frisky that morning. No one needs to know. And hey, it's a good continuous excuse for as you're going. Make stuff up. Ninjas attack me. Whatever. Um, as to the uh, Velotir soap, uh, it's nice. It's, um, I'd probably put it an 8 out of 10 on the, uh, on the scale. And uh, it's certainly worth the money if you're looking into a cream. I have no problem adding that to my regular stable of soap. I'm just uh, shaking out my brush there. And uh, yeah, it's like a lot of what I review here, um, practice more than anything else. There's no silver bullet for a lot of this gear. The Parker is a reasonable entry level I'd like to learn how to do straight razor shaving, but I don't know if I want to do all of the um, honing and stropping and everything. I'd like to know, can I do it first? I will say this, that with a feather blade, even with the uh, derby blade, is a bit more challenging than just a regular straight razor. Um, I don't know if it's... Uh, the blades are uh, more capable of vibrating as I'm doing a light pass, and that's why I'm getting tagged a couple of times. I mean, here and here are different areas. I tend to get one or two little weepers here occasionally. Uh, here, uh, inattention usually gets me. This one, not so much. I think that was just uh, inattention, really. You will learn to use it if you have one. Uh, slow, patient. Steepen your angle if you find that you're cutting yourself. So I'll try and come in more to like a 30 as opposed to steeper. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's uh, given, given the choice, I would rather use a proper straight, but for somebody that wants to learn without that grief, sure, this works. If I had a choice between the Shavette and the Parker, I think I'd probably go with the Dovo. Uh, just that, that bull nose guard uh, has the potential to stop some stuff. Uh, you can't get as close. The Parker definitely can get close. Uh, closer than a double edge. Not quite to... Not quite to the same level as a straight razor, even with the feather. But uh, the risk definitely increased. So other than that, um, definitely something that you can uh, look at if you're in that, in that vein and you're looking for something. And it's just a little jojoba oil. Try and seal some of the burn areas. Of course, my face is starting to dry out because it is winter and I have snow on the ground now. That's just getting awful outside. So, there you go. I survived, and you guys finally got to see blood. Awesome. So, um, there you go. One Parker razor review, and a little bit of soap, and a little bit of blood. Let's let it never be said that it's not blood, sweat, and tears around Wicked Edge. Anyway, guys, keep them sharp. Till next time.